In this video, I will show you how to find the perimeter and area of a complex shape such as this one that includes a curved side as well as straight sides. So for any shape, the perimeter is the sum of all the sides. Okay, it's strictly the border. All right, it's the outside border. So you see what's colored in bold? The perimeter is just what's in bold. None of the lines on the inside will be part of the perimeter. Okay, so let's see. Um, the outer border has four sides to it. It has the left straight side, which is four feet. It has the right straight side, which will also be four feet. The bottom straight side is three feet. The only part that takes any thought is the top curve, this piece right here. Okay, how long are the left and right sides? Yep, that doesn't take any work. How long is the bottom? Yep, obvious. Now look at the curved top of the shape. What is the radius of this semicircle, guys? 1.5, okay? The diameter is three. Looking at the bottom, the diameter is three. So the radius is 1.5, okay? Um, so how many degrees are in this? I'm not gonna look at it that way. Um, this is half of a circle, all right? Can we agree on that? This is half of a circle, it's a semicircle. Um, so, I'm going to do half of the circumference, all right? I mean, it's 180 degrees, fine. Um, but the arc length is going to be half of the circumference. So that's half of 2 pi r. So it's half of 2 pi 1.5, OK? Um, notice how the twos are going to cancel each other out, the 1 half and the 2. So this little length is going to be um, 1.5 pi. I don't want any uh, crazy decimals. that I, ha I don't want to have to round it yet. So I'm just going to leave it 1.5 pi, because I'm noticing that these twos just cancel each other right out. So this little portion right here is 1.5 pi. So I just have to add all of these up. So 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1.5 pi. Correct, 15.71. Huh, I heard a picture. 15.71. Right. What are the units? Yeah, this perimeter is a length. So the units are going to be feet. Now, for the next problem, we're now dealing with area. OK, so we're talking about this inner space uh, where we want to find this now, all right, the area on the inside. So how do we find the area of a complex shape like this? What's our strategy? Split it up. Stick to horizontal and vertical lines. Hopefully you're picturing this right here. If I draw this horizontal line, I've got a rectangle and I've got a semicircle. Now we're doing area, so be careful. So what's the area of the rectangle? 12, right? So it's 3 times 4. So the area of the rectangle is going to be 12. Well. What's the formula for the area of a whole circle? Pi r squared. Okay. Um, wait, I'm probably supposed to do some of this down here. Oh, what's the formula for the area of a rectangle? Okay. Yeah, that's base times height. Goodness. Area of a rectangle, then it's going to be 3 times 4, which is 12. Okay, now the curve part. Hey, what's the radius of this semicircle? Yeah, that's that 1.5 we spoke of earlier. 
the radius is equal to 1.5. Okay, the radius is 1.5 feet. Okay, it's 180 degrees, but I'm, I'm not really going to use that number. Okay, um, the formula for the area of a whole circle is pi r squared. Okay, but this is going to be half of a circle, half that area. So this area is going to be half of this pi r squared. So it's going to be half of pi times 1.5 squared. Okay, um, so I don't see any way around. We're just going to have to get some decimals and live with it. So 1 half pi 1.5 squared. All right, so that's going to be 3.53. Um, All right, so if I add those up, that's going to give me 15.53. Okay, so the total area is 15.53. And this is going to be square feet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.